I cursed you. Each time Ramses took me in his arms, I cursed you, not him, because I love you. The Moses who loved you was another man. No, he was not. You believe you've changed, but you haven't. You call yourself a prophet, a man of God, but I know better. I don't believe that only the thunder of a mountain stirs your heart as you stir mine. Nefertiri, I have stood in the burning light of God's own presence. It was not he who saved you just now. I did that. Oh, Moses, Moses. Why, of all men, did I fall in love with the Prince of Fools? But I believe anything you tell me when I'm in your arms. Why must you deny me and yourself? Because I am bound to a god, and to a people, and to a shepherd girl. A shepherd girl? What can she be to you? Unless the desert sun has dulled your senses. Does she grate garlic on her skin? Or is it soft as mine? Are her lips chafed and dry as the desert sand? Or are they moist and red like a pomegranate? Is it the fragrance of myrrh that scents her hair? Or is it the odor of sheep? There is a beauty beyond the senses, Nefertiri. Beauty like the quiet of green valleys and still waters. Beauty of a spirit that you cannot understand. Perhaps not. But beauty of the spirit will not free your people, Moses. You will come to me, or they will never leave Egypt. The fate of Israel is not in your hands, Nefertiri. Oh, isn't it? Who else can soften Pharaoh's heart? Or harden it? Yes. You may be the lovely dust through which God will work his purpose. <laughs>